what's up guys welcome back to my channel it is danielle aka stardust and of course i'm back with a general reading so i'm just going to get right into it and go in on this energy because it's intense it's a lot going on here so in the mind i definitely feel like I definitely feel like there is someone having a lot of anxiety about taking some type of action. Maybe this person could be taking action to go travel somewhere. I feel like there's this energy of maybe somebody traveling or getting on a plane to possibly go see a family member, um, in particular a female figure here. Um, um, and don't pay attention to energies you know, uh, as far as the sexes are concerned. But this is definitely like a feminine energy. Someone could be traveling to go see someone here. But let me slow down here. Um, I definitely feel like, again, someone could be having anxiety about partnering, collaborating, possibly communicating with someone as well. I feel like somebody wants to travel in the spirit and possibly communicate with someone here. It's a lot of shadow energy here, like in the clear part, too. Like, but I'm going to get down to it. Let me turn my music down in my ear. But in the communication, I feel like someone is communicating toxic, like energy, um, fast, a lot of fast talk. This person could be a fast talker as well. A lot of fast moving energy. Someone could be just, I, I just wanted to say rowdy, like rowdy with their communication um, in the heart space. I feel like there's a lot of pettiness and drama, especially in the communication. Someone could be starting trouble here, speaking toxic energy. And I was getting this before I even started recording here i want to get talk about this energy that i was getting beforehand there's some type of betrayal that's happening right and there's an ending because of this betrayal um i feel like someone is carrying a lot of burdens i feel like someone knows more than you think about a situation um and I feel like this could have something to do with your friends or your family members, especially here with this gossiping, petty energy here. Um, someone's family is involved in this type of energy here. And if it's not your family, it's people that you possibly look at as family or friends here. There's some type of drama, too. And especially if you're, like, popular or you get a lot of attention here. Um, yeah. is intense so let's see what this energy right here i was looking at my phone because i took kind of took pictures of like what i was seeing in the cards earlier and i wanted to save it to get like a refresh but um i definitely feel like someone is like manifesting balance and justice and truth in this situation um someone could be trying to manifest um you know learning about you know legal situations financial situations um Someone could definitely, I keep getting this energy of someone getting like financial advice or legal help or something here. I definitely feel like someone is definitely coming off really cold, detached, especially uh, protective about maybe their finances here. Someone is possibly blocked. You know, maybe their finances block maybe communication or they need to. Someone is definitely upset or mad about about some type of um, communication and some people coming together here. I feel like somebody is telling someone, like, don't worry about gossip, don't worry about rumors, you know. Let me tell you, it's like, man, I'm getting this energy of this woman, like, coming off as, like, you know, docile, um, you know, unassuming. Like this girl here, you know, and this, but she's really like, she's sharp, you know, she's sharp, she's smart, she's sharp with her tongue, with her words, with her actions. 
this is possibly it. yo and it's so funny i was saying um i i'm going to read some channel messages too i just wanted to see what type of energy the cards was going to give me but i'm going to go in with the stuff that i was picking up on because this is literally giving me the energy of something that i channel and i actually wrote down here in my book and it says um where did i write it let's see i have so much stuff written here um oh like someone could be sleeping on you but they claim that they're woke you feel me it's, a, it's i heard it in the Nicki minaj song like and i was like oh my god like that totally hit you know i know that energy so well but it hit like you know so and this is the type of energy especially if someone's coming at you with communication um also too like if you have like some type of hidden knowledge or hidden talent here like maybe you know more about a situation than someone thinks you know someone could be sleeping on you and they claim that they woke <laughs> i was also getting that like maybe someone's cutoff game is super strong like but yeah um I'm going to go in and see what's going on. And I'm going to st start a second spread. But this is just my warm up, guys. And I'm going to go in with the channel messages as they resonate with the reading. Yeah. Someone could definitely be having worry and anxiety about someone moving away. Maybe some positive movement forward here. Maybe somebody taking action. Or maybe someone going somewhere. Someone could be communicating toxic in a in a worse way like i'm telling you there's a lot of change and transformation happening here and it could be causing a lot of obstacles and challenges in the heart space someone's heart space has been disrupted here yes there's there's about to be some type of um uh, you know success and triumph like triumphant success over some type of obstacles and challenges here after some type of ending and betrayal here Yes. Yes. There will be truth. There will be clarity in this situation. Someone is seeing the truth. Someone is getting uh, clarity, possibly through, you know, some type of higher counsel, some type of, you know, this could even be God. This could be like the government. This could be, I don't know. If someone has some type of, you know, someone is tempted to communicate, yo. Someone's contempt of like, I said contempt. <laughs> someone is tempted to like communicate what they know as well there's some type of new beginning especially if like there's like this energy of like i want to go in on these channel messages but i want to pull a second spread and see what spirit gets gives me so i'm gonna pause this at this point i really feel like spirit is annoyed with us <laughs> it's like literally new beginnings is coming guys so in the mind i definitely feel like there is some type of transformation happening in someone's mind someone's been gathering a lot of research gathering a lot of knowledge maybe writing a lot of things someone's developed some type of spiritual strength through the mind here someone has had a fucking awakening in their mind here someone's literally had a spiritual awakening they have so much clarity they know so much truth here it's not even funny literally this person literally has the sort of truth the sword of clarity this person look at the smirk on their face like isn't that the face that uh, someone that like is being slept on their mind is super aware super i just heard focused maybe someone has a lot of spiritual strength in their mind they have had some type of transformation here 
in the spirit i feel like someone is getting a lot of messages a lot of clarity when i say this person is getting spiritual downloads spiritual messages spiritual ideas maybe about business maybe about new beginnings movement choices and decisions that they have to make someone is getting messages not just from researching googling things this is coming from the divine here this is coming from the the gods <laughs> this is coming from god source energy here literally someone in the communication i definitely feel like someone has been working here communicating about work bringing some type of harmony to their work balance in their work even though they're having a lot of mental conflict here i feel like the mental conflict is happening because they're going through a lot of movement choices and decisions and they're leveling up spiritually i feel like someone could be having a lot of mental conflict because of some type of spiritual union as well In the heart space, I definitely feel like um, someone is trying to balance out their finances here when it comes to their home, you know, their partner. I feel like someone is trying to do things in a balanced way when it comes to their heart. Equal fairness, you know. Someone wants fair, uh, uh, you know, balance in their heart and their emotions in the heart space here i definitely feel like in the shadow there's definitely someone walking away from uh, a situation here after some type of ending which you don't see here if someone is definitely walking away feeling emotionally discontent this person could be hiding their emotions hiding their feelings here is what you don't see they're emotionally withdrawn someone is moving forward here emotionally is what you don't see here someone's moving forward emotionally they're emotionally withdrawn this person is emotionally detached emotionally discontent they're moving forward what's manifesting like i said new beginnings new happiness new beginnings what is being manifested for you is a whole new transformation a whole new life after walking away from something this person is walking into happiness and new beginnings someone could be too i was getting this a little bit in the 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 first spread i don't know if this man is or this this energy someone could be having a lot of anxiety about getting proposed to or proposing to someone as well maybe getting someone's blessing talking to their parents you know if, if you have a boyfriend maybe he's worried about talking to your parents or you know your family's coming together if you have a um or vice versa you know i feel like someone like i said i felt like someone's family was involved like um yeah someone could just be having there's a lot of twos look at this two 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 i didn't even see that so twos represent partnerships you know soulmate type energy you know um i always look at twos as individuality as well for some reason because one and one makes two and you have to be a one before you can become a two you know if that makes sense um you have to be a one first so you have to be an individual you have to be a leader you have to be your own person your own personality everything before you can become a two you know and when both people are one when both people are one they can become two that's how i look at it Um, there could be a transformation here in somebody's um, finances as well a transformation in someone's um, home for sure I definitely be getting this energy of somebody like praying to god things like that but let me read some channel messages for you guys um i was getting the other day that someone felt like they fumbled a dime if you don't know what a dime is it's just basically like you know a girl that's like a 
you know, valuable, you know, um, someone could feel like they fumbled a dime, I feel like someone could smoke cigars, I was smelling cigars, like, while I was laying down the other night, like, it smelled, like, a little strong, also, I don't know if I said this in another reading, but I was kind of describing this energy to my friend the other day, I had this energy of, like, maybe, like, chlorine in my nose, like, that feeling when you go underwater in a pool and you kind of get a little chlorine in your nose without blocking your breathing passage, that stinging feeling, the stinging feeling, but it felt like chlorine, it smelled like it in my nose, um, I don't know if that's significant to someone, but, um, but yeah, I was getting that song Count Me Out by Kendrick Lamar, it's literally one of my favorite songs on this planet, um, yeah, I feel like too, like someone could have counted you out, you know, um, slept on you and was claiming the whole time that they were woke, <laughs> I know I'm going to keep saying that, maybe that'll be the title of the video. Um, yeah, I was getting to earlier, I said this, maybe someone had hidden talents that people didn't know about, like singing, writing, rapping, um, that are like phenomenal hidden talents and people don't know. Um, someone could be offended by something that you said as well. Like I said, your cutoff game could be strong. You could be really sharp with your tongue. Someone could definitely prefer, like, a grown man, someone that's more mature, um, or someone that's, like, more distinguished as well. I was getting to, I got this in another reading that maybe, and I know this is going around, so this is, like, everywhere right now, but someone could be, like, jealous as well, but especially if you've just gotten, like, plastic surgery or something, um, if you're picking up this heavy energy of someone like thinking about plastic surgery or getting it um i was i wrote that you're a savage a savage savage you talk your shit um also is if you're the type like i'm like this you can like sense negative energy or like haters or people that are like just envious of you for no good reason for how you stand out how you look or your personality um you could know that someone is jealous of you and like you pretend not to know i'm like that and i just kill them with kindness anyway and just be like super dope and amazing in their face while they stalk me and you know secretly wish they were me <laughs> shit like that so you can know that someone's jealous of you and you like pretend that you don't know Oh, someone could be pretending to be into the same things that you're into or like researching and gathering information about the things that you're into as well. And I also wrote too, if you want to research about the cosmos, go to God, you know, go within your heart. You can't research about, you know, spirituality and things like from YouTube and shit. It's all from you being in isolation, spending time alone, really getting real with yourself and authentic with yourself and authentic with God, being accountable for who you are and what you've done and all of those things, like it's being real, you know, um, So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff here. I'm not going to read it all, but hopefully I'll like throw it in if it resonates. But um It's funny I'm getting like this row of long-haired people and then I'm getting a row of like people with no hair, no hair. Um no hair. Someone could be having mental conflict also seeing someone with someone else. Like, say if, like, you someone sees you in a spiritual union with someone else. This is giving, someone's, giving someone mental conflict. Making someone want to move and ch change their life and have spiritual growth. And um, it's bringing about some type of new beginning. Especially if you're getting married. If you're getting married, this is like, like, double towers, bro. <laughs> two different decks this is literally like this is 
like um someone's um yeah i said that already it's heavy energy like i said um someone's truth and clarity and spiritual strength and their awakening could be enlightening somebody to the point where it's causing some type of new beginning you know i just i just got that <laughs> i just got that i heard Cher in my brain from clueless and she's like oh my god i love josh <laughs> like it's like that type of energy like even like someone realizing like they love you at the last fucking minute when you're about to like um walk down the aisle and then shit and they see you like uh putting in work for your wedding or whatever this is or you whatever you know i feel like this person is finally realizing <laughs> at the very last second like it's too late like but um i'm gonna do some channel messages real quick and then i'm gonna do another spread so yeah i feel like this person too that's having this mental conflict i feel like this person could be selfish emotionally detached they could only be thinking about themselves they could be a narcissist you know um they complain a lot this person could be emotionally manipulative i feel like this this spiritual union can't be stopped no matter what this emotionally manipulative person does no matter what this narcissistic person does this this divine path can't be stopped and especially if this is a spiritual union god chose you uh this is a sacred journey you know this connection is unbreakable it's stronger than you think so i feel like somebody is very self-aware um someone's very spiritually strong you know they know god they reflect on god someone's definitely connected to god through their spiritual strength i was i was getting that with the channel messages now and with the cards Yeah, someone could be losing their mind, you know, um, someone could feel like they have no idea what they're doing, so they're, like, becoming emotionally withdrawn here. Yeah. Someone could definitely feel like a caged bird, like they want to just, you know, um, have some type of movement choices and decisions. Um, someone is, something is definitely causing some type of transformation in someone. Yeah, someone feels like a new person. Yeah, let's see. But I was getting that energy earlier. Let's see. But yeah, it's definitely time for a change. I feel like this is going to be a new relationship new house new car new job and i feel like someone asked for this you asked for this you definitely asked for this there's newness and someone definitely needs to get away maybe travel here let's see i'm gonna get another spread guys and then i'm gonna wrap it up so i definitely feel like again someone is walking away maybe someone's not seeing this as well someone has some type of clarity in the mind or this could just be on someone's mind you know someone is could be a little indecisive too about whether they want to walk away you know someone could be back and forth feeling emotionally discontent like a little confused maybe they having a lot of thoughts and communication in their mind whether to walk away or stay here um, someone's not seeing their victory, their success here in the spirit. I definitely feel like someone feels like they missed an opportunity to be victorious and successful here. Someone feels like they missed an opportunity to, you know, maybe shine their light as well for their, you know, their spot in the communication. I definitely feel like there's a lot of pettiness and drama and gossip maybe and someone is being uh, strong through all of this here especially if this person someone is maybe a strong um you know leader uh someone is successful victorious this person is very successful um and strong maybe this person possibly models or takes photos or you know performs here someone could definitely be a strong communicator as well especially when they get like aggressive or you know maybe defending themselves i 
feel like in their heart someone could be having a lot of fear and illusions you know about some type of harmony coming together and balance here maybe because this petty energy that's surrounding them this could have something to do with some type of work drama as well um What you don't see is the anxiety that someone is having at work as well. Maybe someone's work could be giving them a lot of worry, stress, anxiety. Someone could be really focused on their work as well. Someone has a lot of strength, you know, fears as well. But with this person, somebody's manifesting, you know, um, balance and truth and fairness in a situation. Someone is manifesting, taking action here in the situation as well. So to wrap this up, guys, I'm going to see what kind of advice I can give with this situation. Let's see. I don't know why I'm getting this energy of someone having like funky underarms as well. <laughs> Good Lord. Hopefully not. So what kind of advice I can give you guys is this to go within and have some type of soul healing with your inner child. Maybe you could be communicating with your inner child or communicating with your children here. Um, and this could be bringing in some type of soul healing, especially because I said this uh, children card too, because this uh, family card is here. So someone could be trying to balance out the energies with their family as well. Maybe someone is doing a family meditation or they need to do a group meditation as well. Even if this is not your family, this could be a spiritual family. Someone could be coming into balance with their spiritual family as well. Someone could be having balanced communication or there needs to be some type of balanced communication. Like I said, with your spiritual family or with your inner child, with your actual family. Especially if you're like older or whatever, you know, try meditating around these younger energies or uh, pulling their energies in spiritually as well. Someone could definitely have some type of activation in their third eye. Like, you know, when I see these images, it, like, makes me think of, like, this thing that I don't know what to call it. I could never, ever talk to anybody about this, but I call it, like, my, I don't know. I guess Spider-Man would call it his Spidey senses, but I don't know. But it's this thing that I have that, like, happens when I'm, like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't explain it, but it comes from, like, in the middle of my forehead, but I feel it. It's the weirdest thing. But um, I see someone having this, like even as a child, you know, or maybe someone's child could be having this as well. Having on the child energy. Someone's, uh, yeah. Yeah, someone could be nurturing their children here or needing to nurture their children here or communicate here. Uh, have some type of balance and peace here. But yeah, get grounded. Yeah, get grounded and, you know, pay attention to your dreams as well. Especially if you meditate, your meditations could be helping your dreams expand as well. You could be doing a lot of connecting activity with your inner child through your dreams as well and doing a lot of soul healing work uh, by communicating with your inner child in your awakened life and also uh, while you're sleeping here just and people ask like how to do those type of things set the intention um, you don't have to actually see your inner child or see a person in your dreams to know that it happened the intention is there You'll feel their energy around you, uh, you know, a few days after. You'll feel more peaceful and more grounded. You just pay attention to the energy, but you will feel the presence of your inner child or this family member or whatever. It, as long as you set the intention of uh, pure intentions of, you know, coming together, communicating, doing some type of soul healing. So, yeah, guys. Um,
Someone could definitely be trying to balance the communication in their family, though. But yeah, try not to have too much anxiety and worry about taking action on being creative. You know, even about being a bigger person in a situation, if there's some type of pettiness or drama. Um, and don't feel like you missed out on any type of opportunities. You know, it probably wasn't in the best interest for your soul's growth or your soul's healing or your inner child. Um, everything that's meant for you always finds you guys. So please like my videos. Please subscribe and please follow. Um, share with uh, anyone that you know this may sound like their situation. And like I said, I totally appreciate you guys hitting that like button and check me out for my next future videos. I'm going to be doing so many more. All right. Peace, guys.